Check one, two. Let me try this again. So, what I want to talk about really quickly is like the the modern dating environment. So, I was talking to a woman last night, and the conversation came up, and I was saying that, you know, in a modern sense, we find that, you know, the nice guy finished last, right? We see that that relationships we see a lot of you know so-called marriages you know a, a high profile um, you know perfect textbook marriages ending people like Kanye West Tom Brady etc right so we see these people getting married you know we see them getting divorced right and you know I could use different examples and you know, long-term relationships, etc. And so you you see that what a lot of people feel like is causing this. Like you'll see dating coaches. So now you got the rise of dating coaches. You got MGTOW. You got dating coaches. You got Red Pill. You got No Pill. You got the bad boy, you know, manosphere. You got this part of the manosphere. You got this, right? Men's rights movements. And... You know, this is all in a response to something, right? So it's just like when you say there's a, you know, symptom of a disease, right? There's a disease and all of this shit is a symptom of a bigger disease. So let's analyze the disease. Let's look at the disease, right? That has driven, the, you know, they call it the gender wars, right? That are driving people fucking crazy. I mean, you have statistics where you have where you have like you know large swaths of young men that are not dating don't have a girlfriend a wife or a sexual relationship and they're not homosexuals right and so yeah you you have all of this going on right where you have um it's just total pandemonium, right? And at a certain level, societal dysfunction, right? You have most women initiating divorces, right? You have women cheating, you know, just as much if not more as men. You have, you know, you got bussy, the bussy movement. You got the feminism, which is, you know, basically a bussy light movement, right? Which which is a type of uh, a type of bussy movement, right? Feminism leads to bussy. Feminism is just bussy light, right? So it goes feminism bussy to straight bussy, right? Because generally feminists, they are aligned with bussy, right? And so then you go from feminism to bussy, right? Like Gabrielle Union is a fem black feminist, right? And then she supports Bussy, right? So Dwayne Wade, she encourages him to transsexual his son from a, a, a boy into a girl and then take him to a cookout and have him get sex by some white Bussy boy, right? So it all leads to Bussy, right? America leads to Bussy and Nazis, right? And, and, and so... You find that the relationships are, it's a toxic pool, right? And you find all of these dating coaches, right? MGTOW, uh, Red Pill, Manosphere, this pill, that black pill, no pill, right? 100,000 dating coaches. And then you start to figure out, you know, even female, male dating coaches, like just pearly things. I mean, the shit is insane, right? And, and you find the statistics, you know, these nightmare statistics for men, right? And uh, I mean, let me let me post let me post one of the statistics while we're talking. So here we have the New York Post: six out of ten young men are single. Disturbing reasons why, right? And so, but six out of ten young women are, are not single. Like these these men are uh, single, 
sexless where you find, you know, most women is probably the opposite, right? They all, whether they married, whether they single, whatever, they're in sexual encounters, they're having sexual encounters in multiple relationships, right? Probably with different men due to feminism and bussy, right? And Americanism, right? So it's creating an imbalance in the force, you see, which is going to be balanced out by nuclear fire, unfortunately, right? That's another story. So, you know, I, I posted that so people, while I talk, you have a reference, and people don't feel like, well, you're just making this up. I'm not making it up. It's facts. Everybody knows it, right? And so you have a level of dissatisfaction, right? You have the rise of social media, right? Where women can jump on social media anywhere in the world and have access to men from anywhere in the world, whether they're in a poor country like Thailand, not, not, not poor, but another, you know, like a so-called, you know, uh, second world country, Thailand, whether it's Mexico, Colombia, right, Argentina, right, wherever, Africa, right? So you can jump online and you can meet, you know, rich guys in Dubai that will fly you to Dubai and pay you $5,000 to piss all over you, right? And so this is the dating game now, right? I mean, this is, the, this is what's going on in the streets, right? This is the dating game. And so where women, I mean, you look at Adam 22, men are getting married to women who are turning, or men are, uh, and then the men are cucks, where they let other men have sex with their wife on camera and sell it to the world. And then they tell you, this is how you're supposed to operate, right? Giving the message that it's okay to be a cuck and let men screw your wife in front of you, in front of the whole world, right? Pure degeneracy, right? And so now you have epidemics of six out of 10 young men are single and sexless, don't have girlfriends, don't have, you know, fiancés, marriages, nothing, right? And so, and then you have explosions of STDs. You have epidemics of STDs, right? Let's bring that up. Syphilis cases in babies skyrocket in Canada, right? It's not just Canada, it's also the U.S. I'm not going to bring up Houston, right? And the U.S. is having syphilis in babies and women outbreaks, right? Nothing wrong with feminism, though, right? Find as many men as you can. Have sex with them, right? Get on the Internet. Have sex with men all over the world. Spread that syphilis all over the planet, right? And that HIV and whatever else they got. Gonorrhea. Everything making them stink, making them smell like shit, right? When they take their pants off, <laughs> right? And so, and so they're giving it to the babies. You know what I mean? These people don't have no, uh, they have no shame. They teach women to have no shame where you give uh, bacterial infection, STDs to your own babies with no shame and you say this is this is my right this is women's rights don't you're 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 impeding on my rights to give diseases to babies and have sex with with so many men that I don't know who the baby father is so I want to get an abortion on demand right not because I have uh, a medical issue but because I went out and had sex with 10 guys this month I don't know who the father is, right? Now, so that's dating. That's the dating game now, right? So you, I'm not making this up. I just, you know, as I talk, I, I just post these stories because I just want to be clear that I'm not making any of this up. I just want, so this is the landscape that we're in because I want to make a point, <clears throat> right? So this is creating a huge amount of dysfunction in society. Right, and it's showing up in the syphilis and the babies, and the and it's showing up in the young men. Right, it's showing up in the young men who 
can't find dates and don't can't get have you know can't don't have girlfriends right and don't have dates or you know very negative experiences right or being turned the men are being turned into cucks right where you have to pass women around and watch other men have sex with your girlfriend or wife or something because the woman want her rights to be free right she don't want to be oppressed because she got some syphilis she got to give to some babies and herself right she don't want to be oppressed and have to be with one man and be disease free and you know etc cetera, etc cetera, right they say you're oppressing me right you're oppressing my rights right and because you're oppressing a woman's right well then the baby's got to get syphilis so that the women can have freedom right we got to get these babies we got to get these women the right to have get this syphilis and have be you know turn men into cucks and you know so that the babies can get syphilis and that the young men can't find a decent woman to marry so then you had a passport pros and guys going all over the world trying to find a decent woman but it's too late right the earth as the bible said the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked right there's no way you're going to go to find a decent woman on the planet that hasn't been touched by this disease, right? And I don't mean syphilis. I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. This, this, the feminism, the Americanism, the Westernism, right? There's no way you're going to go on a planet. I don't give a fuck if it's in the Amazon jungle that you go, you, maybe you can get lucky there, right? You can get on a plane, then you get on a boat, and then you can go a thousand miles down to down a river. And if you don't get eaten by crocodiles, maybe you'll find a woman, right? Running around half naked in, the, in, in a village somewhere, right? Hopefully they don't eat you <laughs> while you try to marry this woman, right? And so I, I want to get to my point. Let me get to the point, right? And so I was having a conversation with this woman. And, you know, I said, women, this, this thing has created, uh, we live in a world now where people are very, you know, are uh, dysfunctional, right? And the dating, and most women by, I mean, I didn't get into too deep into it, but I'm going to go, I'm going to get deep into it now. Where most women through bussy and feminism, which is bussy light, so I'm going to say bussy light and bussy have been turned into basically have been degenerated and psychologically damaged, Right? by, you know, by the environment that we live in. And it's getting worse and worse and worse, right? I guess you could call it almost a form of sadomasochism, right? Because they don't respond. Like most dating coaches will tell you, modern dating coaches, I noticed something. What are they telling men? Women don't respond to positive treatment. You have to mistreat them. You have to kind of, you know, like them but you know, then you um, they call it negging them. You have to be negative toward women at the same time trying to show them that you like them, right? So that you can date them. Very, very, uh, you know, crazy schizo type shit, right? Why? Because the women have become damaged and sadomasochistic. You see, what is that? What am I? What do I mean? Right? So, oh, or should I say masochism, right? So, we have a little bit of both. We have sadomasochism, you know, well, we could say sadomasochistic, right? It's a, it, it is. I would say, yeah, it's very sadomasochistic, right? Where you have ple people that, they get pleasure out of receiving pain. You see? Right? They get, it is sadomasochistic because they get pleasure out of, out of trying to hurt men. And then they get, ple they enjoy pleasure 
and men hurting them. You see? That's why I say nice guys don't finish last, right? You're being too nice to her, right? And so I had this discussion with a woman. She said, yeah, I'm not like that, right? Then she, she kind of was a hypocrite, right? She first she disagreed with me, then she agreed with me, you know. And so what you find is that these women are the, the only way to make them, give them a pleasurable feeling is that at a certain level mistreat them and that's what dating coaches are teaching right and you say well why are dating coaches teaching that why has the dating pool become so toxic that you can't really treat a woman decently right they'll tell you well you have to you know you be cool when you meet her sometimes you can talk to her sometimes you have to ignore her for a while then when you ignore her, she'll come around, right? Then you might y'all might go out, have a good time, but you can't be too nice to her, right? A lot of dating coaches, you know, don't be too nice to her. Maybe you smash and then you dash, kind of keep her at arm's length. Maybe move on to somebody else. Everybody's talking about they want to have rotation. She got a rotation. You got a rotation, right? And you rotating a bunch of syphilis and herpes and, and shit on everybody. Right? From Canada to Colombia and South America. Right? You're rotating all kinds of bacterial vaginosis and gonorrhea and syphilis and HIV all over the place. Right? And this is freedom. Right? Sometimes don't you think freedom is overrated? This is this is called freedom, right? This is some of the most dysfunctional shit I've ever that could ever be seen in the universe. I'm sure aliens are looking at this and saying, These motherfuckers are insane. Right? They are out of their fucking gourds. Right? It's particularly the ninjas. And I'm going to get to that, right? So you have people, these women, they only respond to, at a certain level, a negative pain signal, right? You mistreating, a signal of mistreatment, right? Like guys, you, have, you see guys saying, well, Tom Brady, Kanye West, these different guys, right? Jeezy, by giving these women certainty in marriages and relationships, it just makes them act worse and then get divorced. That's true. That is a true statement. That is a very true statement. It's a waste of time to get married at this point. Because once you give women certainty and a certain amount of uh, respectable treatment, they go off the fucking rails. Why? Because they've been destroyed by pussy and pussy light. Right? Bussyism, right? Feminism, whatever you want to call this shit, right? A bunch of bussy, right? They derive, they, their brains have been twisted where they derive pleasure from pain, right? And, and, and vice versa. And so when you start treating people good, like they said, you know, they mistake your kindness for weakness. Nice guys finish last. Where is all that coming from? It's coming from a sort of sadomasochistic mindset, right? You're dealing with a bunch of massacres and sadomasochists, right? People that have been damaged by a sick society, right? But I forget the philosopher. He said, there is no sign of health to be well adjusted to a sick society. America is a sick society. Europe is a sick society. South America is a sick society. Mexico is a sick society. Asia is a sick society. The earth is a sick society. You cannot be well adjusted to it. I tried to explain this to a woman. There's no such thing as being happy all the time. How can you be happy about all the sickness? It's, you know, it's one thing to be, to find joy and goodness. It's another thing to just see joy in everything. 
Now you're you're mentally ill. You see, you're in balance. There must be balance in the force. You see. And so what you're dealing with is damaged goods all the way across the board now. You see, that's how you know this is the end of days. There is no talking your way out of this, writing a book or or anything else. Right? The cycle has to end. And it has to end totally and finally and forever and ever and ever. Amen. You can't fix this. This is a train heading for a brick wall at 400 miles per hour. Right? With a bunch, because you got a bunch of sadomasochistic women. Right? And you got young men that don't know what the fuck to do with them. I'm not making this up. You said, why is six out of ten young men single? It's because you're dealing with a toxic pool of sadomasochistic women. Right? Masochistic on one point, maybe. Sadomasochistic at a certain level. Right? Who don't know how to respond to positive treatment. You see? And once you start treating them the more you treat positive, you treat them, no matter how balanced the treatment, because of the way society has structured and stimulated their brains, right, it's going to go off the rails. They're going to go off the rails because there are no rails. That's the kicker, right? There are no fucking rails. When you take the rails away, right, anything goes. And that's what they've told women. They've told women in society, anything goes. I don't give a fuck if you in Mexico, Colombia, Thailand, Canada, United States, Europe. they told women, anything goes. You could be a whore. You could be on OnlyFans, right? Just jump on, your daughter could be 18, jump on the internet, set up an OnlyFans account and start selling pornography from her phone. Taking pictures of herself doing pornographic acts with guys or by herself and then start making money. That's the future, right? Whether she in, she can jump on the internet in Colombia and she could be like 18 years old, 19 years old, get a phone, a cell phone, right? Or Venezuela or somewhere, Mexico. And then she could link up with guys, right? And sell porn on the internet or, you know, uh, 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 Link up with those guys and trade sex for money and favors, etc. Right? And there's nothing you could do about it because this is freedom. Right? Please give me free. I, give me free. I want free. I want freedom to get syphilis, right? All over myself and give it to some babies. Right? This is disgusting. Right? I, I don't want to make this too long, but, and so, but it's not a good thing. It, the, why we know? Because Isaiah says so. He said, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. See, They've taken so-called things that are bad and they turned them into good and they called it freedom and democracy, right? And pussy, and, I mean, feminism, right? And women's rights, right? And it led to, it's leading to the end of the world. It led to the end of the world. This is the end of the world. Six out of 10 young men are single disturbing reasons why right what are some of the reasons they're saying 63% under the men of 30 are electively single up 51% let me read that again 
Pew Research has found 62% of men under 30 are electively single, up from 51% in 2019. Right. And who's the culprit? Erotic time online. Right? So while the men are online because shit is fucked up, looking at porn, the women are getting syphilis and giving it to babies. Who are they getting syphilis from? Well, a small group of men. These so-called high-value men, right? The Chads and Tyrones are giving the ass to syphilis, right? And they passing it around in circles, giving them each other syphilis, gonorrhea, in some cases HIV, spreading it all over the world. I'm telling you. And they starting young. They getting this shit probably 19, 20 years old. These women are getting syphilis and gonorrhea and HIV and spreading it all around. Right? For profit. Trying to make, you know, trying to get, you know, a new iPhone, some dresses, some shoes, a little bit of money, apartment rent paid, shit like that, right? So they, and they don't care. They say, man, what you talking about? This is, I, I got freedom to do this. I got, this is freedom. This is democracy. This is women's rights. Don't infringe on my rights. Right? This is the end of the world. Right? Welcome. Right? And these people are, sado, you could call it sadomasochistic, are out of their fucking minds. You see? I mean, that's what you're dealing with. Right? You're dealing with a very sick society now that is only one way out. You see? And with with women that only respond to um basically uh monetary incentive, I guess is one way to put it, basically whoredom, right? monetary incentive they want $200 dinners $500 dinners they want clothes they want to go to the spa they want you to pay their rent right while they fuck everybody that's just whoredom right I can get something from this guy and this guy gonna take me out to dinner and this guy gonna buy me some clothes and this guy gonna take me on a trip right and I'm going to get syphilis from this dude and then gonorrhea from this guy. And I'm going to get this other guy two for one. I'm going to give him syphilis and gonorrhea, right? Then I'm going to kiss this dude, give him herpes on his mouth, right? Maybe gonorrhea or something in the throat. You know, I mean, this is the type of shit that's going on, right? And so there's no way, like, like I said, the dating coaches are now telling you, well, you got to... You know, don't give women certainty. Don't be consistent. Don't, you know, which means basically don't have a girlfriend. Just fuck with you, you know, just bang a chick where you can and keep it moving. Right? Treat a bitch cool. Show her a good time. Because she going to want a good time. She want to have fun. So you got to do something. Take her to dinner. Take her on a trip. Hang out with her. Right? Maybe buy her something nice. I see dudes, he gave a chick uh, $200 to go to a spa in Atlanta. Some dumb shit. He didn't even t go out with her, right? So you got to give them all these monetary incentives, right? And then they just going to start spreading syphilis while they spread syphilis everywhere, right? And then you can take your turn. They're like community bicycles. Basically, women nowadays, they're turning the whole thing into like the dating game is a community bicycle, Right? As a man, you know, you can only just have a little fun, keep it moving, try not to get them pregnant. Because if you get them pregnant, then you got a dysfunctional woman destroying your children. I know, I've been there. You do not want that shit. It's a fucking nightmare. You do not want to get one of these dysfunctional women pregnant and have them around a child. Not particularly because, well, one reason you don't want that is because they'll probably give your child syphilis from the very beginning. They're not only going to infect your child with
but a form of if it's a female it'll probably turn your child into a, a prostitute or a whore or you know some type of a you know internet sex worker right and so or or somewhere you know try, in the club trying to find guys to you know pay her rent and take her on a trip give her money and stuff like that or you know maybe she's looking for a rich guy or something to milk right and you know she'll just be getting a lot of syphilis you know smelling foul with rashes all on her and shit right I mean this is the future so you can't be so that's what I say nice guys finish last don't give women consistency right this is where all this is leading to right basically you just gotta smash and dash pick them up bang them drop them off right keep your rubber on extra tight and beware right long story short right you know get ready for the missiles that's all I got <laughs>